Hey friends, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my brown sugar and pineapple baked beans. These baked beans are loaded with pineapple, ground turkey, onions, and sweet peppers, and we bake them in a delicious pineapple and brown sugar syrup. The exact measurements can be found on iHeartRecipes.com. We're starting off with the ground turkey. If you're not a ground turkey fan, you can certainly use ground beef. You can even use ground chicken or pork if you choose. We're going to brown the meat over medium heat and all the fat and liquid at the bottom of the pan, you want to make sure you pour that out before doing anything else. So once the meat is done, I'm going to head over to my chopping board and I'm going to chop up some onion. You can use yellow or white onion. I also have some sweet peppers. You can use any color that you choose. I'm going to chop up those peppers as well. And now I'm going to start rinsing my beans. But first I need to, of course, empty them out of the can. And I want to make sure I drain all the liquid out because we don't want that liquid at all. Make sure you drain it, do not skip that step. And now we're going to head over to our sink and we're going to rinse the beans. I'm actually using low sodium beans, you can use regular. But again, make sure you rinse the beans because you don't want any of that slimy liquid on them. So in this bowl here, remember we're using pineapple. Make sure you get a pineapple and pineapple juice, not the syrup. Pour out the juice into the bowl and then you're going to add in some dark brown sugar. You can use a light brown sugar if you choose. I'm using dark and I'm also using some molasses. This molasses is in mild flavor. You're going to need some regular yellow mustard. And once that mustard's in there, we're actually going to grab a fresh lemon and we're going to use the lemon for zesting. And this is a large lemon, so I won't be using all of the zest. I'm just going to use a little bit. So once everything is in there, I'm going to give everything a nice mix until it's well combined. And at this time, I'm going to add some more liquid. I'm going to use water because I didn't have any more pineapple juice on hand, but I highly suggest using pineapple juice. Um, for more flavor and I'll actually add that on my blog. So in my 9x13 I'm going to add my beans. Again these are canned beans. We're going to add in our onion and our peppers that we chopped up earlier. And now we're going to start adding in our meat. And remember I did drain all of the fat and liquid out of that pan there. We're going to start adding in our pineapple chunks. I'm using these large pineapple chunks. You can use smaller chunks if you want. You can actually um, use fresh pineapple if that's your thing too. Just make sure you use pineapple juice as well. And now I'm going to start sprinkling in my seasonings. I have salt, pepper, and those green flakes there are celery flakes. And now I'm going to grab my bowl with all of the brown sugar, pineapple juice, mustard, and all the other goodies. We're just going to pour all that liquid into our baked dish here. And once everything's in there, make sure you mix it until it's well combined. So my next step will be grabbing some aluminum foil and I'm going to cover this baked dish up. My oven is preheated on 350. I'm going to let this bake for one hour and 30 minutes on 350 Fahrenheit and of course you see that it's covered. Once it's been baking or once it has baked for that an hour and 30 minutes, we're going to remove it out of the oven, uncover it and we're going to grab maybe about a cup of the liquid out of there, place it into a cup and into that cup, we're going to also add in some cornstarch. And this is going to help thicken up our syrup, okay? So once that's in there, give it a nice mix. Make sure there are no lumps. And now you're just going to pour it right back into the baked dish. And we're going to cover this up after we mix everything, of course. But cover it back up and we're going to place this back into the oven, still on 350 for an additional 30 minutes, okay? So once we're done, we're going to remove it out of the oven, and this is what it looks like. Really good brown sugar pineapple baked beans. Really, really good. This is going to be perfect for your upcoming barbecues, picnics. It is the bomb, okay? So head over to my blog, iheartrecipes.com. Print out the recipe. Also join my mailing list so that you will never miss a recipe. I do mail out recipes. So join my mailing list. And if you're on Instagram, be sure to follow me at iHeartRecipes. See you soon.